a short video. It's more of a conversation with John about Mungavin House and his grandparents. They, in those days, of course, they used to go, say, to Partner, to run around and have a bit of a sing song. They get in a gig, go to Partner, my mum and dad did, and they go to Partner for a bit of a party and what have you, and vice versa, they come back here. They did that in those days, went around to one another's houses, mm. had sing songs and things. Yeah. You didn't have any TVs in those days, or, and the old radio, radios would be pretty crappy. I don't know whether they even had radios then. They, they may have, I don't know. But, uh, so, so this is the house where um, it was originally. Yes. And these are the tennis courts. Tennis court there, right. on the other side. The driveway came up between the two of them. And who was who did the uh, gardens? Buxton. He's the one that. Yes. yes the yes. landscape garden. Yeah, that's the one that and did this. Mm. Did it have beautiful gardens? Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Lake and little bridges going over it. And yeah. Little golfers and that. Yeah, they sort of. Well, Oh, very, really, very really nice, yeah. And tell me about the tree, the golden macrocarpa. The golden mica was part of my granddad. Was it a macrocarpa? Yes, it's a golden microcarpa. Right. And that's where the water came from a little creek here. They had two dams, one just across the road here, and one up by the plunket rooms. And they got, Uncle said, they said the water, and he got the water, blocked it off there, and had a dam, and went up to just behind the house here. They said, you'll never get that there. He said, you wait and see. And then they had a big concrete thing about from here, the fridge, you know, wide, and they filled it up with, that was their water supply. Oh. So they had more enough water for the, the for, for the for the trees and the lake and everything. They had lakes and a lot of, right. um, uh, well, not huge lakes, they just sort of wandering around lakes, you know. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's where they had plenty of water for that. And so do you remember this house as a child? Oh, yeah, oh yes, yes. But you did you ever meet your grandfather? No, he was dead before I arrived on the scene. Yeah, but you remember your grandmother? Yes. What yes. was she like? Uh, well, I only, got, you know, I was very young, but uh, I think she was a really big, tall, grey-headed woman when I met her. You know, when I knew her. But uh, in those days, she didn't venture very far off the couch either, from what I can remember. Mind you, I, I, you know, that's a long time ago. Well, our uncle here used to, they used to churn their own butter. Yeah, and that's a, that's a different taste altogether to the butter you're getting here. So, um, the, so this house was moved over to backwards, this? Backwards, backwards. Yeah, towards us here now. Because of the motorway? Yes. Mm. Yep. And what do you think about it now? Do you think it should be saved? Is it, the house? Is it, yeah. Oh, I think so, because it's uh, the sort, because it's not, it's only like this and the gear homes here. Where this has got over, it's so close to the town centre. Mm. That's what I think. Mm. Yeah. And you think it's um, more splendid than Gear Homestead? Is that because you're biased, or do you think? Oh, it could be a bit. Yeah, but the Gear Homestead was nice. Uh, no, I reckon the layout of the garden that was better than the Gear Homestead. Mm. Myself. Mm.